All right, everybody, we are back with more Better Call Saul, and this time we're on Season 3, Episode 7. Before we get started, just a quick heads up if you are watching this over on YouTube, that you can watch the Flink versions reaction, as well as get early access to reactions by supporting the Patreon. I would love your support, but aside from that, let's stop talking and get started. Okay, for the Patreon people, we are going to get started in 3, 2, 1. Normal clothes. Oh, God, who are we meeting? New character? What the? Oh, we're cookie parts department. It's like community service or something? <laughs> Can't think of what else this would be. James McGill. Bring your card. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Sign there. Can I read it first? It's just a waiver. <laughs> We're not responsible. Yeah, I'm that. a lawyer. This is kind of my thing. <laughs> Community service. Yeah. Look at me using my big boy brain. <laughs> there, really, there really wasn't much else it could have been. <laughs> good morning, Saul Goodman Productions. I <laughs> saw Goodman Productions. Uh, that's right. We uh, we do it all. We write it, shoot it, get you on the air for one low, low price. Yes, well, our rates are... No. <laughs> shooting today <laughs> our usual rate is one commercial one airing eight hundred and fifty dollars but you're in luck today we have a one-time special seven commercial seven airings for forty six hundred dollars yeah and we can hello oh he hung up hello nope no deal Jeez. Two months ago, I paid for a full year, uh, but due to unforeseen circumstances, I'm not going to be a lawyer for the next 12 months. And I'd like to speak to someone about a refund. But yet, yeah, well, then may I please speak to someone who can make it? He's going to get in trouble. No, no, no. Don't put me on hold again, please. Help. Hello. Help. <laughs> Uh, uh oh that would piss me off wait a minute this is 30 minutes yep we were all the time all the time you were on the, on the, phone. the phone yeah you know the rules when you signed up but i collected more garbage <sighs> than anybody out here i have to be able to conduct business to earn a living no i think the community service is your jail time no phones allowed in jail Jeez. Oh, well, hold on there, buddy. I mean, who do you think you hold are? Hold up the line. Uh, you, you think you nope. treat us like this? They're all getting their four hours. <laughs> it's just you that was on your phone. Come on, 30 minutes. That's not, that's not right. You can do better than that. We could make it zero. Damn. <laughs> Where we going now? Bet you missed that other car now, huh? <laughs> yes. I wonder if we're ever going to see Davis and Maine again. That's why he was in a hurry. Mention this ad and get 10% off your first purchase. Look into that lens and see a friend. Can you do that? My friend Ron. Great. Look into that lens and see Ron. So come on down to Duke City Recliners and put your feet up. Mention this ad and get 10% off your first purchase. Stumbled a little bit. And cut! Great! That's the one! Check but that was okay! Good, I guess. What, what did you think? Good! So good! Just very, very great! Very nice. 
<laughs> you are on a roll, my friend. I say we strike while the iron is hot. Remember that other offer we discussed? More commercials at the discounted rate? Bang out seven more and give seven you a more. And make you a household name. <laughs> He's like, oh, let, let, let's take it slow. Love the idea, of Mr. Goodman. But I just can't swing it. My wife didn't want me to do this one. You know what? They say you gotta spend money to make money. Don't and, push uh, too hard. Just take no for an answer. And I tell you what, you got a chance here to potentially spike your sales by hundreds, hell, thousands of new customers who'd never even heard of Duke City recliners. Now it's seven commercials. I think we can do the whole thing for. 500 per commercial now that is 3500 all in that is the bargain like of I, I understand the haste and the urgency but I don't know yeah any chance you could do it on credit on credit no I can't damn sorry uh, maybe another time let me get your money for this one uh, can we make this easier? Just split you it four ways. Pay it out. Split it yeah. I'll split you four ways. Don't they teach you capitalism? Forgot about that, that portion. You know, they, they're getting expenses. paid too. You, you don't have expenses. I've got expenses. You see this? This is money I've already spent on airtime for that commercial. Four hundred and forty-five bucks. You know what that leaves me with? One hundred dollars. One hundred and four dollars <laughs> ninety-five cents for writing, directing, producing, client outreach, sales, transpo, all I of it. I get it. Yeah. So let's get you in the editing room and finish God, this thing, and I don't want to hear another word about expenses. Okay. If he manages to keep that car the entire series, I'm going to be amazed. Anything else? I bought a couple reams of paper for the printer. Ooh. Paper. Uh, okay, 62. Okay, so. Offer paper, $162? Ooh. Looks like puts me ahead this month. $3,172. All right, what's it to even me up? Uh. Oh God. 1,586. 1,000. Uh, 500. Uh, wow, Mr. Moneybags, huh? Commercial thing, it's turning a profit? It's TV. How could there not be a profit? You didn't drain your bank account, did you? <laughs> this is rough. I didn't know. Uh, oh, that's uh, Chinese. Still has to worry about for us. You're working late, right? Yeah, right. Thanks. Oh, uh, wait, here. No, I got this. It needs to be frugal, man. Hi. <laughs> $24. Uh, keep the change. Rough. A dollar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can make it zero. <laughs> Don't take your anger out <laughs> on that boy. <laughs> Just because you wanted to spend all that time on on your phone during community service now, make it zero. <laughs> oh my god, somebody there. Oh shit, what Nacho? He's the one that said the business was concluded. Relax. Can we get more of these? You want me to steal this? Get a prescription and go to a pharmacist. It'll be cheap. I need those capsules empty. Why? I mean, what's the point? I need them. Okay. You're gonna try to kill his ass? And oh my uh, god, is he the reason why Hendrix in that wheelchair? <laughs> Are you gonna threaten me? Break my legs? You get me those pills, and I'm gonna pay you twenty thousand dollars. Oh. Get them. That's bold, though, going after Hector like that. That closet only has one pair of shoes. <laughs> oh, or is, it, is that just like a... Okay, that's why it's empty. He needs it empty. God damn. Shit, I need him as a grandpa. Come on now. <laughs> Look at him. Like, he is, he could do it all. Stop. You doing okay? Uh, yeah, it's coming along. 
have a couple of volunteers here. Want to help? How about you dump one of those packs into the wheelbarrow? And you, you fill that bucket up to the brim with water. And then you dump it in little by little while he stirs it with a hoe. You got it. Okay. Okay. Simple enough. I'm ready. What can I do? I think we're covered. <laughs> You're kidding, right? It's not that big a job. <laughs> Am I doing this right? Uh, why don't you try using this instead? Excuse me. Oh, God. It's for the walkway. <laughs> puts down a texture so the kids don't slip smart man i never thought about that it's little things like that you never really think about when walking on like sidewalks and stuff because you see this everywhere too that's the crazy part nice and gentle i never thought like oh that's why there's gripping and stuff i thought it just came like that grandfather i'm anita mike nice oh, he's, he's making a friend a lady Thanks friend. Well, thank you for not trying to do this all by yourself. <laughs> I feel like he would have insisted to. I mean, he did. <laughs> he just stays busy. That's where this is the busiest man in this entire universe. Breaking Bad universe. Because he, I swear, he does not stop. Oh, no, God. <laughs> Carl, yeah. Hold is it the fort for a few minutes, would you? You got it, Mike. Oh no, who is it? Leave him alone. <laughs> I want to hire you again. Do what now? Hire you. I give you it's not more than you have. <laughs> uh. What about him? He broke into my house. He was inside waiting for me. Somehow he got past my security system. I have no idea Man, he's how. He's crazy. All he had to do was unplug your phone lines. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> what? Is oh. it really that simple? What do you want? Pills. Well, not exactly. Empty Lydrastel capsules. I'll give you 3,000. I'm not interested. And you find a way out of it. <laughs> but not interested. He's going to slip and fall in this somehow. I'm just waiting for Mike to come in and save the day. It feels like no one can operate without Mike on their back. Oh, there's like a power nap. Man. Jeez, it flew by like that. <laughs> Look, full disclosure. When you told us about the disciplinary hearing, I admitted I had concerns. So just so you know, I had to do my due diligence. I read the transcripts, all of them. It was amazing. It was perfect. You think this chicanery is bad? <laughs> Who talks like that? I'm Charles McGill. Bye is a breakdown of loan to deposit ratios by county and you can see if Mesa Verde is gonna comply with section 109, you will have to raise your loan numbers. Mm, that can't be right. We were fine in Arizona. But you can review the guidelines if you want, right here. Yeah, damn, that's huge, look at that. Can we move on? Oh, Kim is really just, she gotta get rest. Uh, She's really impatient now. It's reflecting. No. Of course, if it's 96, it's 96. I didn't mean to speak to you that way. Kim, don't worry. It's not a problem. There's no excuse for talking to you like that. No. I know how hard you've been working on this. Yeah. Please, I've forgotten about it already. You should too. Okay? Oh, I feel bad for her, man. She just, She needs to just get... Take a single day off, you as know? As I'm concerned, all we did, all we did was tear down a sick man. A 
It's eating her up. Fixed mortgage rates. I think it's page three. Yes. Yeah. All right, did he do his full hours this time? No phone? <laughs> but he's rushing, so that means he found another client. You might actually need a shower. <laughs> Get in! Go! Chop, chop! Come on, come on! Hey, uh, <clears throat> as it happens, uh, today only, I can uh, offer the same package, but... 50% off. 50% off? Oh. I'm sorry, but we can't. Not today, guys. Don't do that. Guys, now come on. Look, I know you want this. I know you do. 50% off. He's going to push too yeah, hard. We but we're just not convinced. Free. <clears throat> I'll free? free? For free. I'll film your ad, and I'll put it on the air. But when you see more traffic, oh from my here, and you God, will, then Jimmy, we do the other spots for the original rate. Okay, now how can you say no? I mean, I understand he needs these spots for it like that. I guess we can't. Good. That's the best decision. How are you gonna pay your your best. crew now? Out of your own pocket. This is really sad. They even look like they feel bad. <laughs> like, how many more slots do we have? Isn't there like six left now? You gonna catch the bus, Mr. Miguel? No, I. Um, you guys, get to the editing room. I just need to sit. Yeah, this is this this hurts. Mr. McGill. Oh. oh no, I, I can't. It's okay. Oh, that's yours. You earned it. But you're losing money. She, this, she's this <laughs> making me kind of yeah, teary eyed. So I finally got my act together. I pulled a bunch of Alan's boxes out of the closet. Only took me eight years. I cried when I washed them. I cried when I folded them. I cried when I dropped them off. I kept his uniform. It's back. <laughs> Can't let that go. Lord, he'd never forgive me if I let that go. <laughs> but I figure it's okay to keep one thing, right? I mean, people can I use I think Mike is fun. actually getting a love, a love interest. I'm not sure what you stayed half on old uniform. I just don't remember this much homework when I was Karen's age. It doesn't seem to bother me. Look at him! Just oh, look at him! Give her a company. I actually spoke to the school board, and they agreed. Done. All yours. Fair warning, the coffee's not all that. <laughs> you mind if I ask? I really don't mean to pry. Let me guess. You have another construction job you need my help on. No, but if I do, you'll be the first person I call. Yeah. <laughs> ask away. You said you kept your husband's uniform. Oh. Was he on the job? On the job? Well, you mean the police. Alan was a Navy man. He was well out of the service when I lost him. I'm sorry. The group has heard my story over and over. Well, that's what we're here for. Said we. You gotta keep coming? Alan loved to hike. We even opened a camping supply store. He went hiking in Gila National and never came back. They found our car, but they never found him. And I don't know if he slipped and fell or had a heart attack or met someone who didn't like the way he looked. And even after all these years, not knowing how he passed or where he is, I wish it didn't matter. But it does. Yeah. Hello? It's me. You make the deal? Uh, no. Not 
yet. I'll take the job. Why? I'm in. Yep. Oh God. If it ends up that the Salamancas end up killing her husband, that's gonna be it's gonna be a small world. They're both just down today. Hey, let's get out of here. What? Get out where? Hold them up to my neck and miss a very I can't. Come on, we're going. Oh, I up. can't. Uh -uh. No. Nothing. Tell her, take Nothing her to, to stop this. bed. Not oh, sexually, wait. literally just tell her to go to sleep. <laughs> she cannot, she needs rest. Can you uh, start charging this card instead of that other one? Yeah, yeah, you got it. Thank you, no problem. You're not maxing out your cards, are you? Of course not. I'm uh, spreading the points around. I got a system. Okay. <laughs> I got every dollar that guy owns. We are here to meet a celebrity who's donating to my charity. Kevin Costner. Oh God, here we go. I will go stand in that corner. What? You don't like Kevin Costner. <laughs> Remember exactly. um, Kevin when he was with uh, Marco? And they loved me. <laughs> no, the no, girls no, were no. like, you're not Kevin Costner. What is this? Uh, dirty Martini? No, this is a $14 glass of puke. How do we get him? Well, I want vodka. The trick with the coin you told me about? I know your boss. I'm an investor here. The, the trick with the coin? Oh my god! All the Marco schemes! And get me a real he needs to go to her. I'll act good and drunk and he'll think I'm a loser and try to steal you away. He will persist. This is Tell him you can't leave creepy. Him. Not yet. Let him know you're trying to roll me. He'll want in. You take my wallet, you lift the card. Following this? Look at Kim's face. She's like, Actually, what is... Right? We're just talking. Oh. Uh... Yeah. No, he. that was talking. a little too elaborate. They both need to just go home. Was there another way? Another way? Oh, Chuck. Chuck? Is that what you're talking about? Mm-hmm. Kim, he had us in a quarter. Okay, we did what we had to do. But Rebecca... Everything that happened was his own fault. Everything. Not everything is on Chuck. I don't know. He can say that as much as he wants to... <laughs> Make himself feel better, but at the end of the day, he didn't force you to, to do anything you didn't want to do. You're the one that broke into his house. <laughs> There's a whole lot with Jimmy. He just, he's so self-destructive. How about that one? Now he feels, I now she feels like she him. she needs to do this now, I feel like. In some of Giselle St. Clair's land in South Africa. Oh yeah, definitely. Mining rights would be all his. This is a long episode. Ooh, we ten minutes left. I need to know what you're planning. What's it matter to you? Well, I know they're for Salamanca, nitro pills. Your boss has heart problems. You already got it all figured out. Why are you asking? How are you gonna make the switch? You need my help? <laughs> I hate the man, too. <laughs> Hector keeps the pills in his coat pocket. When he hangs up his coat, I'll make the switch. He goes down, then what? His heart goes out. That's it. A lot of eyes on Salamanca. You exactly. do this. How are you going to yeah, stop gonna be on finding you. out it was you? Are you trying to tell me not to do this? Just want to make sure you know what you're getting into. I'm not getting into anything. I'm in it. <sighs> Hector wants to use my dad's business. My dad is a straight arrow. He won't stand for it, which means he goes to the police, which means he's a dead man. You get caught, it could get worse. You don't think I know who I'm dealing with? No. I don't. They're tracking his ass, too, probably. He's like, yo, look at this. <laughs> what are you doing? 
No, nothing. He's not suspe You're not suspecting him yet. There are more people than the Salamancas to worry about here. Now, if you manage to pull this off without a bullet Gus. in your head and switch those pills, then switch them back. Switch them back. Why? Anyone gets an itch about the medicine not working, they're going to look at those pills. You do this, switch them back. You can let us make this deal? You got the money. How much was it? 20,000? Now, before we do this, I'm going to need one more thing from you. Going to help out Anita? God, like, do you know about this man that died while hiking? Yes. He never came back. Miss Balco, we'll see you now. Second door. Well, I was hoping I could get a refund for the time that I won't be a lawyer. Now, that's only fair, right? I'm sorry, Mr. McGill. It doesn't work like that. Shoot. We don't refund for unused malpractice insurance. And I regret to inform you that when your license is reinstated next year, because of the suspension, your premiums are going to go up. Oh, my. Mm. How considerably? Um, looks like roughly 150 per <gasps> What the God. He's going, yeah, this is not Mr. McGill. It's hard. Or is very, he very hard? Are these crocodile tears or is he actually time? Just one break. He's a crocodile terrorist. I, I know you can't do anything. <laughs> I'm getting ripped off left and right. And my car won't start. <laughs> These are all factual. My it's dad true. was disappointed in me. And my brother. My brother is sick. I spent years caring for him and now he hates me. Is this your brother Charles? I pretend not to care, but he's my brother. How can I not? He's mentally ill. He's making mistakes with his clients. He <sighs> oh, makes God. Numbers on important documents. He, he, this is all he just. Complete mental breakdown at the bar hearing. Your brother, he had a breakdown in court? <laughs> it's in the transcript. <laughs> Oh my God, Jimmy! If he screws up with one more big client, it's just gonna destroy him. Don't worry, I I didn't mean to say that. I don't want him to get in trouble with you guys. Oh my, Jimmy! I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go. You're not gonna do anything, are you? I I wouldn't worry about it, Mr. McGill. Please feel better. Oh my God. All right, now we're in the game of play of, of payback. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, he's just digging himself in another hole. I mean, like, honestly, I don't even know how much deeper it can get for Jimmy, so. <laughs> God, this episode. I mean, it's, it's, it's like we're balancing out the good things with the bad in this episode. You know, on, on one side, we have Mike who is trying to do right. And, you know, and trying to actually help a woman in need. And maybe even, you know, while doing that, given, you know, giving her the closure that she needs to move on from, you know, her late lover that was potentially killed by... Um, Hector's guys but at the same time on our right behind this curtain we have Jimmy over here and Kim just having the worst lives imaginable both of them <laughs> like I don't even I don't know where we're gonna go in terms of 
Jimmy is concerned, I don't know what the hell is going to happen next, especially when, well, well, first off, in, t- in terms of the uh, the actual insurance thing and, you know, the, that whole act that he put on for um, for that lady, what is she, is she going to do about Charles? Because there's not really any malpractice issues when it comes to, you know, Charles's current situation. Yes, he did have an episode in court, and she'll clearly see that in the transcripts, but I'm wondering how that's going to impact them. At, I mean, hell, it might be somewhere in the policies or something like that where he's not mentally fit to, you know... Actually, that might be the angle. You have to be mentally sound, and those transcripts are going to prove... A whole, it's going to show a whole different light of Chuck that they didn't even know about. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Of course, if you guys are watching this over on, over on YouTube, definitely check out the Patreon for full-length access as well as early access to anything Better Call Saul plus any other shows and movies that we are watching. I would love your support. But aside from that, you guys have a great day slash night, and I'll see you next time. Subscribe.